I, what do you what do you play? Okay, so you've been playing the riff. Do you want to join me? <laughs> well, I'll give you a little bit of Mega Sand then, because it, 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 the new Metallica album is coming out, I think, this week, right? Come on, you metalheads. And do understand that um, when we take music like that and try to apply it to strings or non-guitar instruments, you can still create the kind of vibe and attitude that Metallica has to the heaviest of the heavy stringed instruments and instruments Joan can create a large color code. Who plays cello, by the way? Oh, cello to me is the most rocking instrument because you've got the low strings. Anyone, if you guys don't know, this instrument has has four violin strings up here, like a violin, and then we have a C string like a viola, and we have a cello, F, and then a bass, B flat. Now, if I turn this completely off, my neighbors love me, right? You can't do it. This bridge has double piezos, which are these little pieces of material that picks up vibrations from the bridge and allows this instrument, because if this instrument was acoustic, and to have this kind of clarity and range, how big would it have to be? The size of the house, right? I ain't carrying that around. So with electric, when I turn the knob this way, of course, my neighbors call the police on me. They say, I can get all sorts of sounds electrically. So electronic instruments can open up a tremendous door for you. Uh, let me give you a little bit of Enter Sandman, because I don't want to give it all away, because we're going to be working on that today, and then I'll play some other stuff for you. Okay, this is the great Metallica.